In the second of our Inside Sevens Uncovered series, we focus on the gruelling physical aspect of the shortened form of the game. First up, Dubai champions England, who've taken a technical quantum leap forward in their own training methods. All the boys have got GPS units on them. Nike have provided us with um, quite quite nice sort of tight-fitting vests, which have a, a pocket uh, in sort of a neoprene shell that helps protect the players and, and other players. And then a, a, a nice sort of portal, really, for the heart rate strap to go in as well. And essentially, we, we can now track exactly what they do during a session in terms of speed, distance, their heart rate, body loads, impacts, you know, pretty much the works, gives you acceleration, all sorts of things. So, yeah, really, really useful. It took a while for people to kind of get used to the concept. Um, and I think what it has done for us is there's no hiding anymore. People will come off the field and before you've even downloaded the data, they'll just say, I had a bad session. I think what's really good about that is that they're able to self-monitor themselves a bit better and they're a bit more aware of their bodies. When they've run good scores, a lot of them will run over straight away and say, who's the top score for the day? So in terms of that, there's a lot of good competition going on now. We know downhill skiing has been using it for a while. Uh, we know Formula One have used it. I think from a sevens point of view, undoubtedly we were the first. We basically just spent a year gathering data. And uh, out of that, we slowly started to see that what we're doing in game time is not actually what we're doing in training and vice versa. And so we were able to start closely matching training intensity, speeds, distance with exactly what the boys are doing in a game. And that immediately has made a massive impact just on injuries for me. I see far less soft tissue injuries because the boys are actually conditioned to do what they do. When real time's working, I can go into the field and say, you're not running that at the right intensity. Or when they're doing a backs move, as that guy hits the line and he gets the ball and the move has worked, he has to be running at 25 kilometers an hour. And that's really good feedback for the players because they then begin to understand that's the speed I need to operate on the set piece move. I think the biggest thing for us is we've, we've, we've been able to develop minimum standards. We now know that in an average sevens game, they'll run between 1.8 and 2.5 kilometers. Average speeds when, when you're in a good game against good opposition, you're looking at anywhere between 16 to 22 kilometers an hour, you know, which is a, it's a three minute a kilometer marathon pace. That's, that's decent running. And when, you, when you're combining that with getting up and off the ground, catching and passing the ball, scanning the opposition, there's a lot for them to compute. Um, but I think what we've got now in sevens, probably with GPS, is really, really good athletes who can play rugby. But I think GPS is now actually making us better athletes across the board. So we should see the game develop from there quite, quite significantly, I think. Eight of the 11 World Series titles have gone to New Zealand and their uncompromising coach. Fitness wins tournaments. I've seen that over a number of years and uh, you know, not only being uh, physically fit but you've got to be mentally strong as well. I think that's a real key. And here's Jackson Orman getting his starting chance, hands it out to his new young teammate Bryce Heen from Auckland and over he goes. There's a lot of players out there, very talented rugby players that, that don't really want to participate in the game of sevens, mainly because of what's required in terms of the work ethic and the training you have to do. So much more running of course, but now even now there's another dimension too, as, as, uh, as a team your ability to hold the ball onto it and you know, long periods of play and uh, to do that you've got to be physically stronger now too, so we spend a lot of time in the gyms as well, so that's really important, so you've got not only out on the track, you know, running from one length to the other length, but it's also getting into a gym and, and improving in your strength, because that's a, a so huge. It is probably the key ingredient you've got to have. You've got to have players that are prepared to work very, very hard, be very, very fit. You've got to set some standards. You don't drop those standards. Because when it comes down to being very, very fit physically and mentally, it's also a big part of sevens is decision making. And if you get them right up to the levels that you need to be, decision-making comes down to, to whether losing and winning a game on a number of occasions.